You are listening to Noah All Hazards Radio, Station 83.4 FM Chicago. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service Forecasting Office located in the Chicago Romeoville area. Here is the hazardous weather outlook for Chicago, days 1 and 2. No hazardous weather is expected. Day 3, a severe statewide derecho is expected to develop in the afternoon with the potential for weak to violent QLCS tornadoes. As a result, a hatched area has been marked for significant tornadoes. Days 4 to 7, no hazardous weather is expected. Residents of Illinois are advised to remain vigilant and alert. Tune into news stations for updates from the National Weather Service. Be prepared to take action if needed. Hey, did you see the weather outlook? No, what's happening? They're calling for a strong statewide derecho tomorrow that could develop violent tornadoes without warning. It's in our area? Yeah, we're in the hatched 45% zone within the high risk, it says. I'm just concerned about loop and potential blackouts. I doubt anything bad will happen to us, but I'll keep an eye on it. Besides, we got the diesel generators in case the external power is lost. All right, I'll let you know if Noah updates it at all. All right then. The National Weather Service in Chicago Romeoville has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Ogle County until 416 Central Daylight Time. At 322 Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Byron, moving northeast at 52 miles per hour, hazard, penny to baseball-sized hail, 96 to 123 miles per hour wind gusts, and possible weak to violent tornadoes, source, trained weather spotters, impact. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Byron, Oregon, Rochelle, Mount Morris, Forreston, Polo, and Adeline. Prepare immediately for large hail and deadly cloud to ground lightning. Seek shelter inside a well built structure. Stay away from windows. This is a dangerous storm. Prepare immediately for large destructive hail capable of producing significant damage. People outside should move to shelter inside a strong building. And stay away from windows. Large hail and continuous cloud to ground lightning are occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Other National Weather Service offices have also issued warnings for their assigned counties. The National Weather Service in Chicago Romeoville has issued a tornado warning for Ogle County until 357 Central Daylight Time. At 328 Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar has detected a severe thunderstorm capable of producing multiple damaging tornadoes 7 miles southwest of Oregon, 9 miles southwest of Mount Morris and 6 miles northwest of Oregon. Doppler radar shows these tornadoes moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Locations in the warning include Oregon, Mount Morris, Bryan, Daysville, Watertown, Honey Creek, and the Byron Nuclear Power Plant. In addition to the tornadoes, this storm is capable of producing penny to baseball, sized hail and destructive straight line winds. The safest place to be during a tornado is in a basement. Get under a workbench or other piece of sturdy furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter on the lowest floor of the building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. 
Use blankets or pillows to cover your body, and always stay away from windows, if in mobile homes or vehicles. Evacuate them and get inside a substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch, or other low spots and cover your head with your hands. A tornado watch remains in effect until 4.15 p.m. Sunday afternoon for Ogle County. Tornado emergency for eastern Ogle County and southern Winnebago County. The National Weather Service office in Chicago Romeoville has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Lee County, Christian County, Logan County, and Marshall County, in northern and central Illinois until 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters are tracking a rapidly intensifying tornado near Oregon. Doppler radar shows this tornado moving northeast at 58 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for eastern Ogle County and southern Winnebago County. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Oregon, the Byron Nuclear Power Plant, Byron, and Rockford. This is an extremely dangerous tornado with complete devastation likely. You could be killed if not underground or in a tornado shelter. Do not delay. Seek shelter now. If no underground shelter is available, seek shelter in an interior room on the lowest floor level of the structure, or if time allows, consider moving to an underground shelter elsewhere. Mobile homes and outbuildings will offer no shelter from this tornado. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, Lee County, Christian County, Logan County, and Marshall County. Boss you need to see this now. What's happening? We got a monster tornado that shifted north after it hit Oregon and it's headed right for us. Doppler radar reports picking up winds over 290 miles an hour. Holy shit, we're gonna lose both the Excite power and our diesel generators. Damn, the only thing we'll have left are the batteries. Alright I'll make an emergency announcement. <sighs> Oh! 
Attention all personnel, a violent tornado is heading for the power plant. Abandon your stations and head for the nearest shelter immediately. We will scram the reactors after the tornado passes. What other places have been hit? Mount Morris is being ripped apart by another violent tornado. Byron is about to be hit as well. Another tornado is trying to form near Forston, and we have many reports of blackouts and power outages in Rochelle, Dixon, and Rockford from the strong winds. The storm's supposed to move east and produce more strong tornadoes. Damn it, we're gonna lose everything needed. What about the power grids? It's not looking good for that either. A lot of power outages are expected across the state. It's the absolute worst All case right, scenario let's go. here. Tell me the rest in the shelter. Last thing we need is to become debris. Good afternoon everyone, this is a VC News following on the direct show currently hammering Illinois and eastern Missouri. The towns of Byron, Mount Morris, and Oregon have all been struck by violent tornadoes in Ogle County, Chicago, Rochelle, and Rockford are all in danger as well. We have reports of tornadoes in Lee, Logan, Christian, and Marshall counties. The Byron nuclear plant was struck by the Oregon tornado after it shifted north straight towards them. It's unknown how bad the damage is, but we should Expect a report within the hour. Another swath of tornadoes have touched down in central Illinois. Five more were confirmed in the southern areas. At least 27 tornadoes have been confirmed so far. We have reports of power outages and blackouts across the northern and central areas, which will be detrimental to our ability to broadcast alerts. Wind gusts have reached over 120 miles per hour badly damaged weak structures. We have reports of baseball-sized hail that has demolished vehicles. This direct show is expected to cross over towards Indiana over the next few hours and will likely die after doing so. We don't have any reports on injuries or deaths as of now, but they will likely be coming in sooner or later unfortunately. Stay tuned to us for further updates as they become available. All right, I am gonna need a damage report here, guys. Sir, we have a total loss of off-site power. The auxiliary buildings have been badly damaged, the cooling towers are mostly unscathed, and minor damage to the containment buildings, but all our vehicles are gone, and the road seems to be littered with debris. The diesel generators are gone. I got mobile data so I'll check how bad it is in the sour rounding areas. Oh boy, this ain't good. All right, hopefully it ain't too bad. If we can't get any diesel generators or off-site power soon, we'll be running on nothing but the batteries. We'll declare this as an unusual event in our emergency protocol. Jesus. What is it? There's a goddamn trench at least a foot or deeper that's been dug up. Goddamn. Oh shit, we better make sure there's no radioactive material being released. Crap, you're right. Civil emergency message for Ogle County. 
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Ogle County Emergency Management at approximately 4.09 Central Daylight Time. A radiological hazard advisory has been issued for residents living within 50 miles of the Byron nuclear power plant due to the potential of radioactive material being released into the atmosphere. As a result, a voluntarily evacuation is recommended for residents living within 50 miles of the Byron nuclear power plant. Should an evacuation order be issued, evacuate over 80 miles from the plant. If you hear sirens or an explosion, put on an approved gas mask, cover any skin, and immediately evacuate to prevent exposure to radioactive materials due to the ongoing threat show and tornado outbreak. Many roads are likely to be clogged with debris and power lines are likely to be down, so take extra care and caution if you choose to evacuate or if an evacuation is issued. Stay tuned to radio stations for more information on this developing situation. Good afternoon again, we have reports from the Iron Nuclear Power Plant. The plant operator has reported a total loss of off-site power, which is looped in short. The diesel backup generators have also been destroyed, and they have scrammed both reactors down. The only thing they have left are the batteries to keep the reactors cooled. The auxiliary buildings have also taken major damage. They have declared an unusual event in their emergency protocol. The containment buildings and cooling towers sustained minimal damage. However, the tornado that it has been reported to have ripped several water lines out of the ground, along with a nearly two-foot trench that was scoured for several miles, all their vehicles have been crumpled up and destroyed, and the road leading out is littered with debris. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like how this looks. They will update us as they assess more of the damage done by the tornado, and there is the potential of radioactive materials being released into the atmosphere. Because of this, a civil emergency message has been issued and a recommended evacuation has been given for those living under 50 miles from the plant. For those leaving your local areas, take extra care and caution as many roads are likely to be littered with debris, fallen trees and power lines, so plan your routes carefully. As of now, at least 47 tornadoes have been confirmed with several violent. We should expect full readings within the few days. The northern area of Illinois has lost major power and central areas have also been hit hard. The National Weather Service has also said to expect many more tornadoes with multiple being strong or violent. That's it for now. We'll keep you guys updated on the path of the derecho and the power plant when we can. All right, I am here. What's it looking like? It's looking pretty bad. The off-site power is gone along with our diesel generators. We think radioactive materials are being released as well. All our vehicles are gone. The auxiliary buildings have taken major damage. The roads covered in debris, and a big trench has been scoured. Okay, I am gonna go test near the cooling towers and the containment buildings to see how much is being released. Sir. The emergency batteries have failed. We've lost all power sources to the plant. What? Shit, the reactor cores are gonna heat up and catch fire if we can't jumpstart the batteries. Have you tried that yet? They're working on it right now. No luck so far. We're gonna need you to take a look at it too. Hey. Radioactive materials are being released, caught it several times on the guider counter. Just as I thought, I gotta go, the emergency batteries have failed. Civil danger for Central Ogle County. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Ogle County Emergency Management. Residents of Central Ogle County seek shelter immediately. At approximately 4.18 Central Daylight Time, a power outage has been reported in the Byron Nuclear Power Plant. Radiologists and plant personnel have confirmed that radioactive materials are being released into the atmosphere. Due to this, all residents in Ogle County are strongly advised to shut off all water supplies, 
as tap water may be contaminated, turn off all heating and ventilation systems, shut off all gas, and seal any cracks on your home with damp towels or duct tape, cover all exposed skin with clothing, and put on an approved gas mask, tune into radio stations for more information on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Ogle County Emergency Management. Residents of Ogle County, shut off all water supply lines immediately. At approximately 4.28 Central Daylight Time, radiologists have confirmed that radioactive materials are present in the Rock River. Do not use any other source of water other than bottled water, as all other sources of water are likely contaminated. Do not drink from fountains or anything connected to the supply line, as you will get sick from doing so. If you are thirsty, use bottled water you have bought. If you have to cook food, brush your teeth, or doing other things that require water, use only bottled water, as the radioactive materials will poison you. If you do so, symptoms of radiation poisoning include, but are not limited to, loss of appetite, fatigue, fever, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and possibly seizures and comas. Those seriously ill will be confined to the state for several hours up to several months depending on the dose they receive. Those who receive a high dose may also suffer skin damage. Tune into radio stations for more information on this dangerous situation. Good afternoon once again folks, we got bad news from the Iron Nuclear Power Plant. Radiologists and plant personnel have confirmed that the plant is releasing radioactive materials as a result from the damage by the violent tornado that struck. Radiologists have also confirmed that the Rock River has been contaminated with radioactive materials, so do not drink any water from the faucets. Do not wash anything, take a shower, brush your teeth, or anything. If you have bottled water, use that instead to do anything that needs water. The site operator has also reported a total power outage, as the emergency batteries have failed, in which were supposed to be tested several days later, following on the direction now. It has crossed over into Indiana. Many cities have been hit by tornadoes which include Rockford, Rochelle, Chicago, Bloomington, Peoria, Aurora, Decatur, Tuscola, Urbana, and DeKalb. The National Weather Service has said that the derecho is weakening, but tornadoes are still expected however. As for power outages it has gotten worse, many cities and towns have lost half or more of their power. In the case of another threatening event, our ability to alert them is crippled, so don't let your guard down. That's everything for now. Stay alert okay guys? This could get real ugly real fast here. Stay tuned to us for more info. Any luck? No. These batteries are completely dead. Damn it. What the hell do we do now? I don't know. The only thing we can do is pray for diesel generators, but that's likely not gonna happen. Shit. What is it? A fire has broken out in Reactor 1. The water's evaporating. Attention all personnel, a fire has broken out in Reactor 1. Evacuate immediately. First responders on the site will be responding. I repeat, a fire has broken out in Reactor 1. Evacuate immediately. Fuck. If we can't stop this fire the whole place will be blowing. I'm detecting hydrogen buildup too, and the cooling systems are failing. The temperature in this thing is gonna skyrocket. Oh no, the containment buildings weren't designed for that.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Ogle County Emergency Management. At approximately 4.55 Central Daylight Time, a fire has broken out in Reactor 1 at the Byron Nuclear Power Plant as a result of the emergency batteries failing, and is expected to worsen over the next few hours as the water inside the four-loop Westinghouse pressurized water reactors are evaporating and damage to the reactor core is expected, it is recommended to evacuate in the case of an explosion, or if you hear sirens, prepare supplies such as food, water, clothing, medical items, first aid kit, flashlight, a fully charged cell phone and chargers, a radio powered via hand crank or battery, in the case an immediate evacuation order is issued, evacuate over 85 miles from the plant in addition to the fire at reactor 1. The reactor's coolant systems are failing, and hydrogen buildup has been detected, along with the reactor core's temperature increasing. Please remain highly alert and vigilant at this time. Tune into radio stations for more information on this dangerous situation. This fire is not getting any smaller, we can't keep up with it? No 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 no. I'm sorry, there's nothing else we can do, only thing we can do now is alert anyone who can escape. Reactor 2 has also caught fire. We're all gonna die. Only thing we can do now is be heroes and try to buy the residents time, just keep fighting that fire, we need to buy the residents more time to escape, rather can at least. Alright, keep grabbing extinguishers. We gotta buy the residence time. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test, a mandatory immediate evacuation order has been issued for all residents living within a 95 mile radius of the Byron Nuclear Power Plant. Well, over the last 15 minutes, personnel at the Byron Power Plant report the reactor cores in reactors 1 and 2 are melting down, and severe buildup of hydrogen in the containment buildings. It is expected that reactors 1 and 2 will have a total meltdown, breach the containment buildings, and explode within the next 3 hours. A nuclear meltdown on this scale would likely register as 5 or higher on the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale, and will also cause areas within 20 miles to be uninhabitable for many years to come. Areas widening 50 to 21 miles will be inhospitable, and areas within 85 to 51 miles will be hazardous. All residents receiving this message slash broadcast are strongly advised to evacuate immediately. This includes the following areas, Northern Illinois, Eastern Iowa, and Southern Minnesota. When you are evacuating, tie a shirt of any color to your door or mailbox to let officials know you have safely left the area. Do not use the tell. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup point. Gather all people in your home. Take important supplies, such as food, water, medical items, first aid kit, clothing, flashlight, a fully charged cell phone and chargers, and a radio powered via hand crank or battery. Try to take one car per family if possible. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own emergency procedures, and will act on them accordingly. It is strongly advised that you evacuate west or south, as it's likely most of the radioactive materials and waste will spread eastward. Most importantly, stay calm. Do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse and more dangerous. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you do not evacuate, you are putting yourself in extreme danger. Tune into local TV, media outlets, and radio stations for more information on this dangerous situation.
All right, guys, listen up. No time for readings here. We have just received word that the Iron Nuclear Power Plant is having a meltdown in Reactors 1 and 2, as they have both caught fire. The plant personnel have said that none of them are able to evacuate and have chose to stay behind to buy as much time for those who can still evacuate. So we must respect and honor their sacrifices. They have released a grim statement that you will only have three hours to evacuate from the initial exclusion zone, which was originally only only 58 minutes. Hopefully they can delay it further, but it's not looking good. Anyone within 85 miles needs to evacuate immediately. Take anything important and leave anything you don't need behind. You're gonna need every second to get out of there. Expect the radiation to spread large distances after the explosions due to the wind patterns. Most of it should spread west and north, so your best bet is to evacuate east or south, as they will receive the least amount of radioactive materials. This disaster will register at 5 or higher on the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale. We finally have some preliminary readings from the National Weather Service. The Mount Morris Tornado has been rated EF4. The Oregon Tornado has been rated EF5, which has put an end to this route. And the Rochelle Tornado has been rated EF5 as well. At least 70 tornadoes have been confirmed and more are being looked into. Power outages have been reported across the states of Illinois and Indiana. The derecho has weakened significantly and has disbanded. This is going to be a day in history. So many people are going to die because of this storm and the radiation. I'm sorry. I wish there was something we could do, but we can't. Just pick up anyone you see along the way and save as many as you can. We'll keep you guys updated when possible. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test, the Byron nuclear power plant has exploded, and radioactive material is spreading across the country. The following states to be affected include Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Arkansas, Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Maryland and New York. If you live in any of these states, seek shelter or evacuate immediately. If you are evacuating, take important supplies such as food, water, clothing, medical items, flashlight, first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone and chargers, and a radio powered via hand crank or battery to last you for the duration of this emergency. Leave any unimportant items behind. Try to take one car per family if possible. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. If you choose to stay, shut off all ventilation and gas systems, shut off all water supplies, cover all exposed skin with clothing to minimize exposure to radioactive material, and put on an approved gas mask. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation and should be taken very seriously. Most importantly, stay calm. Do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation more dangerous for yourself and others around you. In addition to the radiation fallout and spread of radioactive materials, crops, vegetation, and other food sources are likely to be contaminated. Tune into local TV, media outlets and radio stations for more information on this deadly situation.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test, at approximately 6.54 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Radiologists have confirmed that farm fields, greenhouses, and large amounts of edible fish are contaminated with radioactive materials. Do not eat any food from farms, greenhouses, or fish from the river, as you will consume the radioactive materials and will suffer radiation poisoning. The symptoms of radiation poisoning include, but are not limited to, loss of appetite, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, seizures, and comas. Those seriously ill will remain ill for several hours up to several months, and skin damage is possible for those who receive a high dose, as a result of fish being contaminated. A contaminated water warning has also been issued in the states mentioned in the previous. Alert which includes Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Arkansas, Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Maryland and New York. If you live in any of these states, seek shelter or evacuate immediately. If you are evacuating, take important supplies such as food, water, clothing, medical items, flashlight, first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone and chargers, and a radio powered via hand crank or battery to last you for the duration of this emergency. Leave any unimportant items behind. Try to take one car per family if possible. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. If you choose to stay, shut off all ventilation and gas systems. Shut off all water supplies. Cover all exposed skin with clothing to minimize exposure to radioactive material and put on an approved gas mask. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation and should be taken very seriously. Most importantly, stay calm. Do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation more dangerous for yourself and others around you. In addition to the contaminated water, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has extended the exclusion zone into western Indiana, eastern Missouri, southeastern Iowa, and southern Wisconsin. If you live in these areas, evacuate immediately. Tune into local TV, media outlets and radio stations for more information on this deadly situation. Good morning folks, I hate to tell you this, as you know the Byron nuclear power plant has exploded and radioactive materials are spreading across the county and have been reported as far as New York, Minnesota, Arkansas, and North Dakota and is expected to possibly spread even further. To add insult to injury, all the affected states have contaminated water and food contamination warnings. If you live in any of mentioned states, shut off all ventilation and gas systems, and shut off any water supplies, only drink bottled water and only eat food from your fridge you have bought prior to the meltdown. If your activity requires water, whether that be cooking, washing your hands, brushing your teeth, only use bottled water. We have reports of farms, greenhouses, and fish being contaminated with radioactive materials. Last night the Duret Show disbanded and only a few weeks sooner storms remain from it. As for tornadoes, a total of 176 were confirmed. The death toll from the tornadoes is 89 and is not fine final yet, and at least 1200 have been injured. As for deaths from the radiation fallout, all personnel stationed at the Byron nuclear power plant were instantly killed, and with the power outages and blackouts in Illinois, deaths are expected to reach in the thousands due to all the debris in the state. We have not seen a nuclear disaster on this scale since Chernobyl and Fukushima. Make sure to cover all exposed skin, wear a gas mask, and do not drink any tap water, no matter what. If you become sick with radiation poisoning, call 911 immediately. Do not hesitate. Please stay alert. We will give you hourly updates when they become available. Keep tuned to this station. Event type is radiological hazard warning, the following message is being transmitted at the request of the Canadian government, this is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test, at approximately 7.23 am Eastern Daylight Time, 
radiologists have confirmed that radioactive materials have spread into Onotario as far as Lake Superior, southwestern Quebec and southern Manitoba, as a result, a water contamination warning has been issued for the affected areas, along with a food contamination. Warning, as greenhouses, farms, rivers and other food and water sources are contaminated, shut off all gas, ventilation and water systems, any activity that requires water or food must be done so with bottled and food from the fridge or freezer, and only so, cover all exposed skin and wear a gas mask to minimize exposure to radioactive materials, if you are driving, set the air to recirculating as to avoid having radioactive material be sucked into your car's interior, if you are experiencing radiation poisoning. Call 911 immediately, this is a dangerous situation and should be taken very seriously, tune into news and radio stations for more information.